where we head into uh, Seattle and find Rebecca Ann Curtis. Uh, good evening, Rebecca. Wonderful co to Hi. connect with you. Uh, did you see I sent you a friend request on Facebook? No, uh, we'll I... It um, I uh, but, uh, wonderful to connect with you. Yes, I will be sure to... Um, the next time on Facebook, I will uh, accept your friend request if I can find it. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I think you will. Uh, you're a worship leader for a uh, recovery church. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about uh, who is Rebecca Ann Curtis. Well, shoot, what do you want to know? I mean, <laughs> I love Jesus. I um, I really do. Like my, my favorite things to talk about and my favorite things to do is to worship. I love worshiping God. I love the word of God. I love talking about it. Um, I will talk your ear off about it. I'll argue with you about it. Um, if, you know, if we can, I'll be civil about it. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, I enjoy all the debates, but um, really all it comes down to is that I just love God and I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say, well, he is definitely this way because, um, you know, the more we get to know him, the less we really know about him. And so there's a lot of, a lot to God. And so, um, I'm, I'm not one that's going to sit there and, um, uh, tell you that God's preference, pr favorite style of music is um, rap or heavy metal <laughs> <I hope not. laughs> or ambient. <laughs> he loves Jason Mraz. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I, 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 I think that God loves us like a lot and he loves what we create and I think there's a lot of room for that. And I think that the word allows for that. So, um, I don't know what, what like you get me talking <laughs> off in some weird, <laughs> random weird direction. I'm going to go like off on tangent land. So, well, let's, let's get back to your music. And, uh, right. would you, would you share a little please about the uh, first song that you have for us? Well, I'm doing a risk tonight. Cause, um, I just wrote this, like I just wrote it. Like I was just sitting here going, huh, I think I'm going to try something new, like something I've never done, write a song in, you know, 20 minutes <laughs> and then share it with y'all. So, um, this is based on Psalm 23, you know, everybody loves Psalm 23. So it, I, it's just called Psalm 23 at this point. So, you know. This is before tweaking, and here I am, nervous songwriter, going, hey, I just wrote this, and I'm going to share it with you. Here we go. Plunge into the, the deep end of the pool. Here we go. Oh. 
give rest You give hope You lead me in the way Of your righteousness You give rest You give hope You, you lead me in your righteousness That's what you can come up with in 20 minutes. I want you to write songs all the time. That was beautiful. Thanks. A beautiful rendition uh, from uh, the 23rd Psalm. Love it. Um, one of my favorites. I, yeah. And uh, it's now even more so my favorite. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Uh, I, I just can't believe you just did that, <laughs> wrote it. <laughs> it's <just> terrific. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yeah, wow. You're yeah. Is um, in your songwriting processes is is that something that that you the normal way you do things or does no. it normally <laughs> no, this, is write song? <laughs> this is totally new. I had a friend um, come up from Texas and she's like, "Here, you've got to try this," and I'm like, "I don't know about this." I'm like, I've like wanted to dip my it's it's called harp and bowl and like. Yeah. Like I've watched IHOP and I'm like, how do they do that? And like, it's a little weird. I don't know about that. That's kind of weird for me. But she's like, hey, have you heard of this harp and ball? I'm like, I know. I don't even know what harp and ball is. And I had no idea that that's what IHOP does. And I'm like, uh, not not the pancake house, but um, the yeah, the 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 international house of prayer. And I was like. I don't even know what this is, but um, she kept har saying harp and bowl, and I, she's got such a thick Texas accent that I thought she was saying harp and bow, and wow. I was like, what is harp and bow? Is that like harp and like a violin bow, or is it like harp and like, like a bow and arrow? I'm like, just like sitting there listening to her going, okay, okay. All right, well, I'll just go with this. Let's let's see yeah. where this. And then, um, and she's like, "Hey, we're gonna do this." And then we did like a thing with people watching us, and wow. and I was like, and she did most of it. I was just like, like a deer in headlights, right? But um, <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is really cool because it's a different way to like explore the word of God and um, and 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 sing it and and connect with the Holy Spirit. And I was just like. I kind of like this. This is yeah. kind of cool. I, I think I'm going to try more of this. And so yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's just basically engaging with the Holy Spirit and the word of God. So, and, and in 20 minutes. And so, you know, hey. Beautiful. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, about the next song. 
that you oh, have for us? The next song, um, I'll, this next song is called Know You More. Um, let's see. I wrote this. So I had spent some time being um, kind of mad at church and God because um, I, you know, a lot of people experience a lot of church hurt and I had spent a lot of time in church and I just sacrificed my time and my energy and like ran myself ragged, like going to church like four days a week and volunteering and um like not really getting a whole lot of friends out of the process you know and so i felt really drained and i felt really um let down by people and so i just was like i i told god i was like look um you and i are okay but these people that that um your people, I'm not okay with them right now. And so I'm going to take a break. And um, I took a break for 10 years, and <laughs> which was a bad idea. It really was a bad idea. Um, I don't recommend that. I recommend staying no matter how bad the community is to stay in the community because, um, one, the bad things that you do witness will be a testament like you, you get to like if you were in the right and if you're following god and if you watch the bad things happen um it's going to be okay because you'll have a testimony to tell and it's better that you have that testimony than to not have that testimony and to be like hey i kind of screwed up watching this kind of like amazing thing happen like that god did that like will n scare you you straight but I fouled that up, and so now I can't tell it because um, I don't have all the I don't have all the details because I didn't stick around to watch it. So I I heard it all secondhand, and I'm like, man, I wish I'd been there. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but at the same time, I do. Um, but uh, so after after all that, um, I wrote uh, after all that, and I and I really felt like God was like. Um, like, hey, come back to church and um, come back to my people and um, it's going to be okay this time. And it has been, it like it has been because uh, I, in the 10 years, I did not, I, I thought I was maturing, but I really matured when I came back and faced God. And so in that, um, I was like, you know what, I, I really just want God and I want to communicate with God's people and I want to be part of that and because you die when you're not part of the community and so it's better to be attached to the vine and watch other branches fall off than to be one of the ones that falls off. So, and gets, yeah, so uh, here we go. So this is called Know You More. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm messing this up. Okay. <laughs> no, why? I have not. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. There it is. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Stir the waters of my heart move the mountains in my soul rain upon the deserts in my life Jesus let the waters flow I just want to know you more 
just want to know you more. I just want to know you more. I just want to know you more. You know me better than I know myself. And you know where I have been Yet your love for me flows eternally From your outstretched hands I just want to know I just want to know you more. I just want to know you more. I just want to know you more. Your arms, they welcome me. That you would let your mercy flow I just want to know you more I just want to know you more I just want to know you more I just want to know you I just want to seek your face, seek your love, seek your grace. I just want to know, I just want to know you more. I was nearly caught out with no you more. It was so relaxing, so inspiring. Thank you so much, Rebecca. A beautiful song indeed. Uh, please share a little more about the next song that you have for us tonight. Oh, oh let's see. Um, I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard space where what I want to share, but um, I know what I want to sh share for my last song, but um, I think... Oh... I would, well, if I do the one song, I'm not sure that I'll hit the one high note. So let's not do that one. We'll do, um, we'll do this one. This is, um, this is a song, uh, let's see. Um, this song is about, um, like where when you you know like when when you when you get confronted with um how awesome god is and just how wonderful he is and just how holy he is and then you and then you look at yourself and you have that moment of like oh rats i am not that great of a person at all like oh what have I like I there's nothing in me that's like good I I like when you recognize that you go oh you know like if given the certain right circumstances you know I could probably be just as bad as Hitler <laughs> you know or like some of these other people like you know like like let's be honest because you know um if we don't have cry without Christ living in us we're horrible horrible human beings and there's there's like no depth that um we cannot descend to as by following 
that path. And um, I know for me, like, there's a lot of people that I've talked to that are like, well, I don't know if God can forgive Hitler. It's like, well, if you're, if you're honest with yourself and take a good hard look at your heart, like, you know, like it says in the song, I believe it's Psalm 139, which says, search me, God, and see if there's any unclean way in my heart and if you truly honestly pray that prayer oh god will show you just how awful you really are and and you know and then and when you are met with that there is um there is and then you and then you're met with the cross there is freedom in that going oh i could be horrible and i could be really bad but i'm not and so when i look at like all the horrible things that people have done it's like you know there is forgiveness for that no matter what you have done in this life there is forgiveness god's forgiveness is for you on the cross that there is nothing that you have done that he will not forgive i mean like he everything he forgives everything like um any any sin that you have committed he will forgive it there's there's a, there are people out there that are convinced that if you commit certain sins that you are going to hell and that is not entirely true because what it's not committing the sin that sends you to hell because we're born with a sin nature and that's what we're part we're apart from god and so it's like when that that's the the sins that we commit they're a result of having that sin nature and being apart from god and what connects us to god is having the new nature is having being created a new creation in christ and that is what causes us to have that eternal life that eternal salvation that is through jesus christ and we can't get that you can't be good enough you can't earn it god you 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 can't be as good as Jesus to earn it you you uh you just have to receive it. it is a complete gift and it's amazing i mean seriously so uh this is this song is a reflection of kind of like that moment of you know like i'm kind of a terrible person <laughs> how can you love me what good do you see in a soul that is damaged, wounded and weak? I've hardened my heart, alone in the dark, protecting the pieces of me. I've tried not to cry, but this fear inside is killing the fragments I keep. And you want it all. Oh, you want it all. You are my mess, my confessions, my life and the essence. My thoughts and the places I walk, you want it all. Where would you follow? Where would you go?
it all it's a beautiful song from rebecca ann curtis on red's room this evening concert number 285 with uh, hank your host and rebecca ann curtis with uh, one more song to come from you uh, i can't wait if the uh, others have been a preamble to this last one they it, i'm just this is going to be fantastic such beautiful <laughs> heartfelt lyrics and uh, such wonderful wonderful uh, structure in your songs thank you so much rebecca can't wait for this one tell us a little bit about your final song all please. right um so this song is a co-write i co-wrote it with a guy um by the name of rob and uh, i can't remember his last name right now but i i know it like i, I do i trust me i do like my brain is just like bloop at the moment but he's a great guy he lives in upstate new york i met him once at a um songwriting thing that we both went to and it was it was cool and then um we wrote a song together <laughs> over the internet and uh it was pretty cool uh but he sent me some lyrics and i was like you know i like these lyrics a lot and i want to smash your song a bit and kind of change it and add a verse to it and f fix it <laughs> it's kind of I don't, and so um i didn't even listen to his melody but the melody that i came up with was really similar to like his melody like i i didn't even i haven't even told him that but it was it was really like i went back and i listened to it because i was like oh i like these lyrics but i don't want to even hear the melody because I hear something in my head when I when I listen to this, and then I mean when I'm reading it, and then and then uh, and then I came up with some stuff for it, but and then we put it together, and then we're like yeah, and then um, and then I recorded it. So, um, but yeah, this is uh, um, forgiven. Yeah. Walking down old roads, places I used to hide Failures like street signs haunt me as I pass by I hear them telling me I won't be anything, only what I have been But they only remind me of whose I am I won't turn back, I won't give up You can't tell me I'm not enough I'm not defined by who I was But whose I am Regrets and roadblocks stop me from leaving my shame Exits and byways claim they can ease my pain I hear them telling me I won't be anything Only what I have been But they only remind me of whose I am I won't turn back, I won't give up You can't tell me I'm not enough, I'm not defined by who I was, but who's I am. I am forgiven, I am forgiven. My past 
past is done I'll overcome by the one who sets me free I'm not mistaken, I won't be shaken This is who I'm meant to be <coughs> I won't turn back, I won't give up You can't tell me I'm not enough I'm not defined by whose I was by whose I am I am forgiven I am forgiven oh forgiven yes forgiven oh forgiven Oh, what a beautiful way to remind us all that uh, we are not defined by who we were, but by whose we are. Yeah. And that's just an amazing lyric. I love that lyric line. Thank you so much for sharing with us, uh, Rebecca and Curtis on Red's Room Concert 285 this Friday evening across America. And as it comes time for us to say goodnight, we want to thank you, Rebecca. Can we pray for you as well? Absolutely. I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> uh, let's lift our hands up to our Lord and Savior and Heavenly Father for Rebecca as we pray for her. Lord, uh, you have given her a wonderful talent. Uh, she may feel like her mind is muddled, yet the words coming out of her mouth are purely of you. And we praise and glorify you for the gift that you've given Rebecca. And we pray protection over her. We pray for provision over her. We pray for continued inspiration to her mind and soul that she continues to praise and glorify your holy name, and that she is able to continue to write songs from your heart through your word. Thank you for her. Thank you for her ministry and her music. And we pray for all of your blessings to flow through her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. amen amen thank you so much rebecca thank i look for forward to me. catching more of your music and uh seeing you more and hosting you more on red's room oh yeah yeah oh did you ask where you <laughs> could where you, where i can find more of my music and stuff yes or? i was about to do that and uh thank you for reminding me <laughs> where can we find <laughs> the like, of her music? This, oh yeah um so I'm on Spotify, like that's that's like primarily where you can find my my music. Um, the other the other way is that um, I'm gonna I I'm saying this because I'm gonna start utilizing YouTube and Twitter, I guess, and put more songs on there. I, Excellent. Yeah, so that's that's where that's where I'm headed is Twitter, the Twitter sphere. Yeah. it's weird like though i'm i i kind of want to just be done with social media because i'm kind of <laughs> over it like i'm like i don't want to do this because it's it's sad it really yeah. like i'm like i see there's it can be good but like for the yeah. most part it's just like there's too many people behind the scenes pulling strings and and it's like exactly. you know just let things be and let people like the things they like you know if they like yep. gross things let them like gross things like <laughs> worms and if they like rebecca and curtis music let them do like, that too yeah like you know if they like <laughs> jesus leave, leave the jesus people alone yeah <laughs> Just, yeah, well, thank you, Rebecca. You can find Rebecca on YouTube and uh, X, I think it's called now, not Twitter, but uh, yeah, you, you, we'll, we all Twitter. know it as Twitter. And uh, look, we better, before we go, 